Hey, everyone. I'm Megan O'Leavy, and here's what you need to know for your UFC Minute. There comes a point in almost every fighter's career when what got them to the big dance just isn't enough anymore. That was the case this week when it was announced that the up-and-coming heavyweight competitor will change gyms in order to work on his jiu-jitsu game on a more consistent basis. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. All right, so here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, making the walk to the octagon here tonight. He is challenging the champion, whom he has bad blood with, whom he believes he is better than. And obviously, as he makes the walk here tonight, he finally has the chance to prove that he and not the champion. think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. The champion headed to the cage right now is in the groove. He is in his prime right now. His training for this bout has been perfect. He believes he has a solid game plan and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. He is well prepared for this contest. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's for the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of seven wins, four losses. He stands six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 239 pounds. Fighting out of the tall Brazil, presenting the challenger, the enforcer. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 38 wins, no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 263 pounds. Fighting at a Donegal Ireland, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Adams. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back this is home. a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. Are you ready? You ready? All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Let's see which man exits as the consensus baddest man on the planet. All right, so here is the UFC champion trying to make good on yet another UFC title defense. And how good was that effort the last time Joe Rogan he won the fight by flush knockout? He'll be looking to do the same here tonight. And as the contenders have risen up to this champion's level, most have not been able to deal with his power. I wonder if he sent a coffee cake to the guy he just knocked out. He is going to try to take this guy out early and often as he has done to so many challengers in the past. Oh! Oh, straight 
right. Oh, double jab. Oh, he got cracked with the jab there, Joe, and his head is firmly on the center line, the one place it really can't afford to be. He's showing some vulnerability here by leaning right into his opponent's range. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here. This could be it right here. Back up. He lands a huge elbow to the head. Oh, head kick! Clean uppercut to the head. Oh, he tagged him. He's got him right here. Oh! Kick to the head. Oh. He's stunned. Nice uppercut. Look at that. Wow. Oh. The champ is rocked. He's in deep trouble. He's trying to hang on and keep his title. He's got him hurt here. Oh! The kick lands and he's down. Back to the feet. Under a minute to go. Rocked him with that right hand. Back and forth we go. Oh, he connects there. Beautiful elbow there. That was a hard elbow there by the champion. Wow! This could be it! Victory. Yeah, Joe, a near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Watch this again here. Ba boom! So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Now to Bruce Buffer Ladies for the, the official Eagle decision. Is going to stop in this contest at four minutes, 37 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner. Uh...